I'm running a bagel shop for 24 hours. Um, what do I do with these? So here it's a job. In the trash bag. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, am I doing a bad job? And I'm gonna take over. I'm so like stressed out right now. I don't know how you do it. So I've always wanted to own a restaurant or a cafe. I don't know. I think I'm gonna walk around and see if anyone would be game to letting me try it out for a day. This looks like a family owned Chinese restaurant. There's nobody in there. Okay, I'm gonna move down here. Dental office, a nail salon. I guess that would make sense, but no, not today. There's a brand new bagel shop that just opened. It looks pretty cool. There's also a Chipotle, a Starbucks. Looks like a pretty cool place. Hi, welcome in. Hi. Are you a new bagel shopper? Here? Yeah, we've been open for about uh, four months. So I have a really wild idea. Do you think I could help you run your bagel shop today? Have you worked in a restaurant before? Actually, I have. I've been a server before at a pasta restaurant. Oh, okay. Um, but I always, I've always wanted to know what it's like to like run an operating successful business. Like, is it something that I want to dabble into? I have a YouTube channel. Could be fun. Why not? Really? Actually, somebody called in sick today, so um, there you go. I'm an actor now. Hi, I'm Carlos Perez, and this is uh, Boil and Bake, a California deli of sorts. I've been working in bagels basically my whole life. I grew up in a family-run business by my parents since I was eight years old, so bagels is all I know. I think the biggest difference between a home and a professional chef is the repetition. You know, we do the same thing all day, every day. There's a lot of practice, it's a little more second nature, and um, it's easier to, you know, develop newer ideas out of that versus at home, you know. It takes, uh, I think, a lot more planning. You know, you have to go out and get the ingredients for at a restaurant, the ingredients come to you. It's kind of fun. Hi, I'm Hi. Zhang. Luke, nice to meet you. Nice. I'm the chef here at Boil and Bake. Safety, uh, very important. A lot of things, hustle and bustle, hot food, knives, sharp objects. A um, few basics. Whenever you go around a quarter, quarter. Okay. Loud, proud. Okay. You don't have to worry about being quiet. You don't have to worry about being loud in here. It's a small place. Okay. Um, anytime you walk behind somebody, behind. You can even give them a little tap on the shoulder. Just okay. so they know that you're there. Okay. Um, yeah. That's it. Okay. You ready? You're ready. What do you guys want me to start on? You'll learn how to bake bagels. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do that. Let's bake some bagels. Corner. Corner. Behind. So right here is uh, slicing the salmon we cured. It's been curing for three days. Wow. So then we get slice a thin portion it, and that's for our lox bagels. Okay. And these tails right here, we dice it and then mix it in cream cheese for our lox cream cheese. Oh, wow. Nice. Cool. That's fun. Trust me, there's smaller refrigerators in restaurants. <laughs> These have been, this is the third day of fermentation. Pre-leavened two days ago, shaped yesterday and fermented, and then overnight fermentation for today. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna go around, behind. Behind. And then I'm gonna do half of it. Okay. And I'll have you do half of it following behind me. Okay. So they're gonna get about 30 seconds on that side. And it's also depending on like the lightness or the fluffiness of the bagel, like if you feel this, kind of feels cold, but it's not like dense. Are most bagels done this way? Yeah, a traditional bagel will be boiling. That's the name, boil and bake. Yeah. yeah. So after about 30 seconds, what we do is we flip them, scoop it out the kettle, and then this is our everything mix, onion, poppy, garlic, and then sesame seeds. So what we do is we do a dip, make sure it's nice and covered. And then you see this cornmeal bottom. Cornmeal bottom is so it doesn't stick to the boards. Oh. So that's gonna go face up. Okay, face up. Face up, so that when you flip it onto the oh, oven, that means then, it's a, then it's right side up. Care, careful with the fingers, all right. And then you gotta give it like 30 seconds. So in the meantime, any any time in between that you have to stand, we usually you know try to keep ourselves busy. So grab the board, you can dump the cornmeal in there, up it goes on the hook. Let's dump the cornmeal in the trash can. Oh sorry. <laughs> Is do I use this one? Yeah. She seems nervous, but she's gonna be okay. They're gonna come out alright. Alright, let's take them out. You don't wanna overboil them. Oh, okay. And then you cover it. Sorry. Scare my customers. I'm sorry. You dip it in there, cover it all over. Remember the cornmeal? So that's gonna go face up. Okay. Yeah. They're very delicate feeling. And the boiling, what it does is creates a little crust. And even though seeds are really messy, we still wanna try to work as organized as possible okay. and not dropping all the seeds on the floor. Okay, sorry. Okay. You don't have to you don't have to pat it down either. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. But behind, I'm gonna show you one more time. 
and then go like this so you could drop any excess. Oh, okay. And then you want to leave a little gap at the end too. Right there. Okay. So my seeds are not catching on for some reason. You're going to have to be here for a couple years in order to get the hang of that. I hope we don't sell out at this rate. <laughs> Sorry, am I doing a bad job? He's slowing everyone down. If we get a line, we won't have enough. That's for sure. How long do these bake for? Uh, I think about, tw I just said I think, right? My own bagels. 20 minutes. Okay. An eternity later. We're gonna wait for a platform and we're gonna push this onto the stone, push it in all the way to the end. But straight, you wanna leave gaps in between too. It's really hot. 450 degrees. Wow. And this area right here is gonna be really hot. So you wanna only grab from the handles. Okay. Yeah. Run it, close the door. And basically we're gonna give that a minute. What you want is to dry that bottom a little bit so that when you flip it on the stone, they're not gonna stick. It's like a Disneyland ride. It's a, it's a carousel. Oh, it is hot. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Do the rest. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm not getting on straight. Okay, so what's next, chef? Once those come out, then that's the shot we'll get. That's it. Maybe you wanna try uh, shaping a little bit. So this is the dough that we uh, made it this morning at 4 a.m. And this is a uh, ferment. Depending on temperature, we're in colder times right now. So it's gonna take a little longer to ferment. So this is bulk ferment right here. And every hour we do a flip to make sure that air incorporates and everything. And then you kind of smell that fermenting kind of beginning. Once the machine uh, rolls the, the balls into a rope, what we do is we shape it like a bagel. So this is cornmeal. The cornmeal goes on the tray so that they don't get stuck to the boards. And then it also kind of gives it a nice crust on the bottom too. Spread it out a little bit, rope it around your hand, and that's a bagel. So kind of yeah, put it on the counter, you gotta roll it in the center. Make sure you get that, starting from the center, get that air out. Here, I'll do one next to you so you can see. Just like that. And you gotta remember, this kind of dough is very hemp sensitive, so we have it sitting out for too long, it's all gonna go to waste. Oh no! It's okay, yeah, put it on there, okay. And this is, this takes a long, like, okay. it's just like feel. Okay, so you're gonna start from the center. Okay. Push the air out. It's okay if it's kind of fatty thin, like a bone. Yeah. Because that's the seal. So when you like roll it, it'll kind of even out. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. This is a lot harder than it looks. Okay, what's going to happen here is if you have the ends too thin, when you seal it, it won't seal. It's going to get too thin here. So from the center, uh, push in more from the center. Yeah, out. That's perfect. Now wrap it around your hand. Grab one end, wrap it around your hand. Not bad. Yeah, that, that, that could potentially, and when you boil it, Come undone. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm not charging people money for that one. Yeah, center, out. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna have you do something else and I'm gonna take over. Yeah, I'm gonna take over. It's, it's yeah, here, come over here. I'll, I'll have you do something else. like messing up everything in his restaurant. It's like a very high stress situation. Yeah, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. It feels good in here though, after all that like heat. It's kind of nice to cool down. Hi, sir. Would you like me to take the bagels out? All right. Just slide them under or what? Yeah, it's like a pizza. Oh, okay, I can do that. And please don't drop any. Yeah, that way uh, the rest of them are gonna burn. Oh, sorry. There's a light up. Okay. Yay! Once that's done, you get this goes up here. Okay. Paddle goes up there. They look so good. They came out really nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. And be and before we continue with more, brush the level so then you know if we want to put plain, they're not gonna get right. full of uh, seeds. How do I do that? This goes up here. Brush, and then you're gonna brush all the seats to the side. Okay. And then you're gonna literally just drop them. Drop them where? On the corner. Will they go down there? Yeah, just go down, and then we vacuum it at the end of the day. Many months later. Oh yeah, Carlos, thank you for letting me work here. By the way, I forgot to tell you, I invited a bunch of my viewers to come try the bagels. And by the way, I actually brought all of these ingredients because I think it'd be cool to make like special bagels. When did she bring these And then by in? the way, I actually printed out some menus for you. What? I'm taking over, so I gotta put my spin on it. So here are the special bagels. Let's work on making the wasabi cream cheese because I think it'll be so good. 
Um, so I was thinking it would be really cool to make a wasabi cream cheese just to have like the essence of it in there, okay. spicy. That sounds good. It would go really well with some trout roe, which, okay. you know, I also found in the back. I'm gonna just dump this in here and yeah. then we'll mix it. Sounds good. We're gonna start with a little bit of wasabi because I don't want to make it too spicy. Okay, you're gonna need a paddle. Okay. Do you know how to use a KitchenAid? Of course Make I sure. do. Okay. <laughs> she says she has one of these at home because we don't want to over mix cream cheese. Okay. Let me get a tasting spoon. Okay. Chef, you're actually missing some radish in here. I was thinking that we'd have some salted radish too. All right. Yes. So on my special bagel, I'm gonna have plain bagel with wasabi cream cheese, and then we have salted cucumber and radish, and then some trout roe and furikake. Wait, do you have the furikake? Let me get it for you. Thank you. And now the real fun begins. All right, so we're gonna be taking orders now, okay? Uh, POS station, midday menu, row bagel, kimchi. You pick. You gotta pick a bagel, ask them what kind of bagel. Think you can handle it, count money. Can you stand here before my first one? Hi, Hi. thank you for waiting. Thank you for waiting. Everything bagel, Sure. Plain Jane, everything. Everything. Done. Done. Would you like it for here to go? As the clock hit noon and subscribers started showing up, I got to work making the first honeysuckle custom bagel. Best so that they get even the spurs and their bites. Mm -hmm. Best to do a few dollops okay. instead of like one clump. Okay. Because that trout roe is going to be like a really powerful flavor. Okay. And since you have gloves on, you can use your fingers to kind of nudge off. Yeah. Perfect. Yay! So it's going to go to table 36. Table 36. Yep. Hi, here's oh, the roll so bagel. Enjoy. Uh, so nice to see you. Oh, first. thank you so much for coming. So the kimchi bagel then will have scallion cream cheese with sesame oil, bit cut bacon, kimchi, and sesame oil. Oh, the scallions. Do you have the scallions over there? So there is a mishap in this communication today, and our prep cook uses the scallions. So. Oh. I sub the plain cream cheese for sky and chives. Okay, that's fine then. That's fine. Yeah. Since unexpected things can always happen, it was important for us to stay calm, cool, collected in this hot kitchen. Okay, so where do I take this? That one's gonna go so, 15. Yeah. Hi, Aaron. Here's the kimchi bagel. Oh, thank you. So nice to meet you. Thank you for coming, and I hope oh. you love the bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. This day was really special to me because not only did I get a taste of working in a professional kitchen, I also got to meet many of you in real life for the very first time. It was an overwhelming sense of joy to be able to serve you and share my honeysuckle twist on whatever I'm serving. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> the, the bagel legend of Shirley's in Orange County. Yeah. Enjoy. It was also really cool to hear how far back we go together and how you've been liking this new evolution of the channel. They came all the way from <laughs> San Jose! Hi! My love of food is made even better by sharing it in person and I'm so thankful for the chance to do this. But while it was really fun to hang out, I have to get my butt back in the kitchen and serve these bagels because I'm gonna have some pretty angry customers. I got the open top bagel and it was so good with the salmon roe. Usually I get smoked salmon, but like, I don't know, the roe is different, but it also had that salmon kind of taste to it. I really love all the Asian fusion flavors that Zung brings and I think that's something that's really unique about her channel. I got the honeysuckle sando and that was really good. Oh my God, the bacon, thank you so much. The, ba the bacon, you were right, it melts in your mouth. The bagel consistency and all the toppings that work together is really refreshing too. I enjoyed it and I've never had anything like that before. Thank you, Zong. My son actually took half of it, so I only got to eat half. The saltiness of the roe and the crunch of the radish was perfect. I made the wasabi cream cheese myself. So good, it was perfect. Two hours later. Was it fun? Yes. It's a lot of work. My back hurts. I don't know if I'm ready to do a bagel shot, but it was really fun. So, have you been some bitch today? Um, you know, at first she was very nervous, paranoid in a way, but uh, as the day progressed, honestly, like her cooking skills actually came out. So she seemed much more confident and yeah, I think she did great. Do you think Sung's ready to start her own restaurant? Um, 
Nobody's ready. She has the love for food that, you know, eventually it'll come together. And it's... Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right, I guess I'm done cleaning up. Uh, thank you so much, Carlos. Thank, thank you, you for the keys to your store because I'm going to take over now. Yeah, you can what? go home. Bye. Bye. I'll, I'm, I guess. Sure. <laughs> She picked up uh, on some of the, some of the stuff pretty well. Other things she could, you know, use a little work, but you know, the stuff comes with time. Practice. I would never have thought to do a wasabi cream cheese, but I tasted it and I was actually very surprised. It was super good. It was very delicious. And how do you feel about your new boss now? Actually, I think I just got a notification from my Indeed. Yeah, I gotta go. I got a new job. <laughs>